Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and this is my 13 inch Apple MacBook Air. This is the latest 2010 model. Now there are two versions of this 13 inch MacBook Air. There's one with 128 gigabytes of flash storage, which is what I've got here. And that's gonna cost you a thousand and ninety nine pounds in the UK. There's also a higher capacity model with 256 gigabytes of flash storage. And that will cost you an additional 250 pounds with an asking price of £1,349. Well, I'm going to be showing you a series of videos with some add-on devices that will increase the storage capacity and save you some money. You might even find them a little bit more useful as well. So what I've got here to test on the MacBook Air is an Icybox IB290 series uh, external enclosure. It's got USB 2 and E SATA interfaces where I'm going to be using the USB 2 interface. And then I've installed in here a Seagate Momentus 7200.4 uh, 500 gigabyte hard drive. So it's got a 500 gig hard drive in here and <clears throat> very nice quality enclosure. Now the enclosure is going to cost you around about the 15 pound mark or maybe it maybe a little bit more say 15 to 20 pounds and the hard drive is going to cost you about 50 pounds so total cost of this 500 gigabyte uh, hard drive and the enclosure is 65 pounds around about the 65 pound mark gets you 500 gigabytes of extra storage now the box contains some other goodies as well i'm not going to go over all of them in great detail there's a little key that allows you to get into the hard drive. There's some instructions. You've got an eSATA cable. You've got a USB 2 cable as well. It's a Y type cable to give extra power if needed. There's another uh, USB cable here, which has got a power connector on one end, so you can use this if you need to. And you also get a nice pouch to transport the hard drive around. Now I'm gonna be using just a normal uh, two and a half inch, uh, sorry, a normal USB 2 connector on here. Plug that into one end of the drive and then plug the other end into my MacBook Air, like so. Now, hopefully the MacBook Air will give this enough juice to spin up, which it has. There's a little LED light on the front here for power Another one here for hard disk activity. And I've already actually partitioned this hard drive on the MacBook Air, but I'm going to uh, give it a test now using Xbench. <clears throat> so let's get Xbench up and running. And we will say uh, later to that. And let's get this test up and running to give you some uh, performance results on this combination. So just to recap, this is an IC box enclosure and a Seagate Momentus 7200 RPM hard drive, 500 gigabytes. Let's start the test. So this is running Xbench. Now while this is running, I'll just let you know I have already tested the internal uh, flash storage on here. Uh, I put a graphic up on the screen to show you how this performs. Now the MacBook Air internal uh, storage, the flash memory in here, uh, achieved 133 megabytes per second on 4K blocks, 156 megabytes per second on 256K blocks. On the read, so it's uncached read, it achieved 18.48 megabytes per second on 4K blocks and just over 185 megabytes per second when it was doing 256K blocks. So very good performance from the internal flash storage on here. I've also got in the graphic on screen a normal three and a half inch serial ATA drive. Now, this particular drive, this uh, Seagate Momentus, the results are coming in on Xbench as I'm speaking. You can see on the screen here, it's filled up with results. Very respectable score. The uh, uncached write speed, the fastest, is 37.65 megabytes per second. And the uncached read, again, the fastest result, 38.75 megabytes per second. So a very respectable um, result from this Seagate Momentous hard drive in combination with the IC box enclosure. Now obviously this is a lot bigger than those USB flash drives I've been testing, uh, but 
the performance is better. Yeah, it will use a bit more battery power on the MacBook Air, but it's the price. 65 pounds gets you 500 gigabytes of extra storage if you buy an enclosure and your own hard drive. So if you compare that to the 250 pound premium, you'll pay for the higher capacity MacBook Air. This is a no brainer. You could buy almost three of these. So you could add almost one and a half terabytes of external storage for the same price as buying that uh, more expensive MacBook Air. I know what I'd do, I'd add my own storage because this is ideal for storing your iPhoto library, iTunes library, loads of data on this, 500 gigabytes, 65 pounds, that's saving you, almost saving you 200 pounds on that price of the more expensive MacBook Air. So this was my test of the Seagate Momentus 7200 RPM hard drive in an icy box enclosure, the IB290. It's a very nice enclosure and gets you a lot of storage for your money. Well, thanks very much for watching this video. Please do keep an eye out on the Geek Noise channel. I've got more tests of external storage devices to do for the MacBook Air. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel and please also follow me on Twitter by following at Geekanoids. This video is sponsored by mymemory.co.uk for great prices, free UK delivery and reliable customer support. Visit mymemory.co.uk.